and welcome to Grandad's Reviews. In this video, I'm going back over an old topic. I did a video on whether the Fuji cameras had dual gain ISO or dual amplifiers or whatever you want to call it. I'll put the video up here and I just want to go over that topic again. So I just want to make sure that I've not made a mistake. I'll put my hands up if yes, I did make a mistake and I'm incorrect. So I just want to go over that test again. So I've done another test. We've photographed a colour chart. I've done one set of images all taken in RAW where I've set the sh shutter fixed, the aperture fixed, and all I've done is reduced the illumination of the chart and raise the ISO to keep the exposure correct. And I've done the main ISO range, then done the same again, but I've done every single ISO from 160 to 12,800. But this time I've kept the illumination fixed so the light doesn't change. And all I've done is altered the shutter speed and we've gone through them again. And we'll put those images into Capture One. I'll make sure there's no uh, denoising on there at all and no sharpening everything set to zero I'm then going to do screen capture of those ISOs we'll zoom in to 300 400% and see what we get you'll be seeing the raw files in capture one yes there'll be some compression due to changing it to h264 to upload to YouTube but you should get a reasonable idea of what's going on here and we'll see what the results are. So let's uh, get those images up on the computer and go through them. So right, we've got the images into Capture One now. So the first way we're going to look at is I've kept the shutter speed the same, the aperture the same, and all I've done is reduced the illumination on the chart and up the ISO to compensate to keep the exposure exactly right. Now in this group, I've taken the major ISO range so we're starting at 160 which is the base we're at the full screen here and what we'll do is we'll zoom into this top corner for a start and then this one here and just to see so we'll come into here and we'll zoom in to 400 percent which we're never really going to do but we can get to see what's going on and also just to show in the details, we've got no sharpening or anything on, no noise reduction of any type whatsoever. And as you can see, we're at ISO 160, and this is what it looks like. So we'll go up to the next one, which is ISO 200. And this is where some People are saying there is a switch uh, to a different gain or a different amplifier or whatever. Uh, and it flicks over at 800. So we'll go to 800 and I'll just go backwards or forwards on that. So that's 600, 800, 600, 800. And we we'll go to 1600. And this is where, again, other people say that it flips over. So when it goes to 2000, but we're at 1600 now. Go to 2000, so 1600, 2000, 3200, 6400, 12800. I'll go back down those again 64, 32, 2000, 200. 160. Let's just do same here. We're at 160, 200, 400, 640, 800. I'll just go between the two. 640, 800, 1600, 2000. Switch between the two, so 1600, 2000, 1600, 2000, 3200, 64, 12, 8, and we'll go back down. 
there 200 2016 8 614 4 2 160 so that's the first way we did it and then what I thought I would do is every ISO from 160 to 12,800 again we'll go up here let's go to 300 instead of 4 so there we are at 160 200 250 320 400 six four five hundred six forty eight hundred I'll we'll just go between those two again six forty eight hundred one thousand twelve fifty sixteen hundred two thousand so we'll just do those two again sixteen hundred two thousand sixteen hundred two thousand two five Three two four five thousand six thousand four hundred eight thousand ten thousand twelve thousand eight hundred. So we'll just go back down those again. And we'll stop at those two specific places. So there's two thousand, there's sixteen hundred. 1600, 2000, 1600, 2000, 1600, 8, 640, 8, 640, and then we'll go all the way down to 160. And if we go to this spot here, let's go 300, and we've got this mark, so let's see if it may. See any difference here? So 160, 200, 250, 320, 400, 500, 640, 800, 640, 800, 1000, 1250, 1600, 2000. 1600, 2000, 1600, 2000, 2500, 3200, 4000, 5000, 64, 8, 10, 12, 8. So, from what I can see and what you can probably see, the grain increases with the ISO. Sometimes it's not a huge jump between. Two, so from your 64, 640 to 800, 600. No, it's not a huge jump, but it is definitely grainier at 800 than it is 640. And if we go down to 1600 and then go to 2000, 1600, 2000, 1600. 2000 yeah it's not a huge jump but it's definitely noisier so from what i can see digital noise increases as iso increases and at no point i see it suddenly drop to a lower noise level but as you can see the grain doesn't change right we've looked at those images i've gone through each one we've stayed on the 640 to 800 and the 1600 to 2000 we flipped between them We've done 300%, we've done 400%, and unless I'm doing something really, really wrong, and if someone can point that out to me where I've gone wrong, the digital noise increases with ISO. As the ISO goes up, digital noise goes up. At no point does it go down. So going from 640 to 800, yes, there's not a huge difference in the grain, but it's not less than 640 it's not like it's jumped to 400 or something like that and the same with 1600 to 2000 there's yes not a huge jump same as not a big jump from 160 to 200 or even 200 to 400 but there's no decrease that i can see but as i say 
that's how I've done the test. I may be totally incorrect. I'm not saying there isn't dual amplifiers in Fuji cameras. There probably is. So that don't over amplify using one amplifier, then probably switches to another amplifier that takes on after it. But it doesn't reduce the noise. The ISO invariance on the sensor is a completely different issue. That is there, that is an invariant sensor, so you can pull the same exposure from an underexposed image as if you were boosting the ISO. But that's not what I'm looking at here. I'm just looking at how the noise increases with ISO and it never decreases. I also did a video, I'll put that up here as well, on the dynamic range and whether that changes. Again, I may have done the test wrong and I might be completely incorrect. If they think the test is wrong, please put it in the comments and tell me how I can retest it to see how I can prove or disprove whether the Fuji has dual gain ISO. In my opinion, and this is my opinion only, under the tests that I've done, incorrectly or correctly, I don't believe Fuji has dual gain ISO when it comes to digital noise or dynamic range. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscription button. Till next time, see you later.